Hello. Today we try to explain what we've been doing in the last three months, developing a multimaps for LK8000 V4. So what is multimaps? We are all used to have multi-targets, which is the feature that allows us to change the destination on the fly, just touching on the top left corner. So in this case we have a multi-target menu and I select task. Then multimaps is about changing the entire map screen with another content. And we do it by pressing on the left or on the right of the screen, right in the middle. So it's enough to touch here, for example, to switch to the next screen and back here. We're back to the main map. Here we see that there is a number down in the bottom right corner. The number is indicating us which is the multimap page we are looking at. So what is really multimap? Let's go to, to page number one. Page number one is showing us the heading we have in front of us while flying and it's divided into two parts. The first one is called top view and the second part is called side view. In this page the usual custom keys are working the same. So if I touch here for example we still have the same behavior. And of course then we have a second page. So we see the destination in front of us from left to right. And in side view and in top view. Then we have the second, the third multimap page is the same as the first one but it is showing us the direction towards the destination independently by our orientation. So you see the glider is pointing in a different direction. For example while you are circling you still keep the same destination on the right. And the final multimap. This is the, the um, it's called multimap airspace. It's showing it's it is showing to you automatically uh, the nearest airspace, and you have the destination airspace indicated by distance, both horizontal and vertical. Then there is another multimap, the last one, which is the radar page. And this is appearing automatically only if you have a FLARM device connected, traffic advisor. So we go back to the first one, which is the usual map we, we, are, we know already. Of course we can go also backward. Changing multimaps is very fast. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's, the screen is too much cluttered. That's, that's right, this is why we can customize each multimap having different contents. We go to display and we have the usual menu of items where we can select waypoints, topology, terrain, airspace and overlays. And this is going to happen individually, independently for each multimap. For example, if I'll let you see I'm page 2, which is the heading, I go to display, I take airspace off. Airspace is disappearing. I go to map 1, airspace is here. You see, it's totally independent. So another thing I can do here is disable topology. Or I can enable topology and change waypoint. So I can just display the waypoint, just display the topology, do not display anything at all, display everything. Then in the third page, suppose that in the third page I don't want to have any overlay. All I do is go here and remove the overlays. So here we are. We've, we've been looking at the multimaps and you see that each one is independent from the other. Suppose that you want to resize 
the side view and the top view in the third page. You just swipe down a little bit or swipe up. Of course you can enlarge the side view or the top view at your will. And you can also have an entire side view or entirely the top view like that it's brilliant you have many choices you can do it as you like each multimap allows you to do a lot of things because each multimap can be configured to have different informations for example you may dedicate the multimap tree to be absolutely clean with no topology for example and no waypoints only airspace this is another multimap, it, it is the the fourth one, it's uh, if, as you remember the multimap for airspaces so you may want to have only side view or a little bit top view with no overlays on that that's it what about the radar radar is a standalone feature and uh, you can you can have the, the the screen oriented by side or front view just click on the top right and uh, the other icon on the top left is used to activate and deactivate in sequence the traces of the flam objects we will see the flam in details in another video so what we've been doing now is looking at the maps and you see you can switch very fast and each page is independent by the others and you swipe up to open a window and it will be saved for the next time which means that once you save when you exit the LK8000 configuration will be stored you can save yourself the configuration but it's going to be saved automatically in the default another thing you can have is suppose that you want to recite the side view because mountains are scaled erroneously so you, you have long click on this page Oh, sorry, I just selected an airspace right now. Okay, let's go, for example, here. And uh, I do a long click out of an airspace. And you see, it's highlighted by yellow. So now, when I zoom in and zoom out, it's I am rescaling entirely the side view. This is useful, especially if you're flying very steep mountains and you want to have a, another kind of scaling for altitudes. To get out of this mode, you just simply press out of an airspace on the other map and it will be deselected normally, like that. When you press we need to keep click long click on an airspace now it's happening also only on the on the side view you are selecting the airspaces for example if I press here I get the airspace selection the usual one the same happens here for example and so on remember that display menu will allow you to configure independently what is printed on, this, on each multimap waypoint, topology, terrain only and so on and another feature is that even if you, if you un, uh, unselect topology uh, you will still keep water area which now water is part of terrain that's all for, for, for now. We're still working and developing hard on that. Me, Uri, Matthews, and many other people. Bruno, too many. So stand by for version 4, and this is a teaser. And 
many beta testers, about 500 of them will receive a link for this. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.